Welcome to Medical Matters. Today we're going to talk about an important topic that's affecting an increasing number of people worldwide, long-term COVID, also known as post-COVID-19 condition or long COVID. Most of us are familiar with the immediate symptoms of COVID-19. But what happens when those symptoms persist long after the initial illness has passed? This is a condition that's been known by many names, post-COVID condition, a long COVID, and people have been called long haulers. So generally it is uh, the persistence for about three or more months of symptoms after acute COVID-19. We don't quite know how many people around the world suffer from this, but estimates are about 10 to 30% of people who have been infected with the SARS coronavirus go on to develop long COVID. So that's about 65 million people around the world. Post-COVID-19 condition refers to the lingering symptoms that some individuals experience after recovering from COVID-19. These symptoms can range from fatigue to cognitive dysfunction and can significantly impact one's daily life. The common symptoms associated with long COVID are very varied. So following that acute infection, people sometimes report that they feel partially better or fully recover and then develop new symptoms that may be similar to or different from the initial uh, original infection. And often these are fluctuating symptoms. So what is most commonly being reported are symptoms like fatigue, extreme tiredness, joint and muscle pain or weakness. Some people report uh, respiratory symptoms, so problems with breathing, shortness of breath, chest pain and coughing that persists. And some people report having what we call brain fog. And this is poor memory um, and inability to concentrate, headaches and dizziness. I think what's also very striking about long COVID is that people have reported that they just cannot return to normal function. Many people have had to leave work and many people even struggle with activities of daily living. And like just after washing and cleaning, they are so drained that they have to take a rest. Diagnosis of post-COVID-19 condition typically occurs at least three months after the initial onset of COVID-19 symptoms. This allows healthcare providers to distinguish between normal recovery and persistent symptoms. Long COVID is very difficult to diagnose because there isn't a test that can diagnose it. We need to have a history of having COVID either diagnosed through a laboratory test or you having had symptoms that showed you had COVID before. And then when you develop symptoms, we need to rule out other causes of those symptoms. You might be wondering if post COVID-19 is contagious. The answer is no. Long-term COVID cannot be passed on to others. Long COVID is not contagious. Most people recover from acute COVID-19 and they are not infectious after about 10 days because the virus does not persist and isn't able to be transmitted. The duration of post-COVID-19 condition varies for each individual, making it challenging to predict. While many see improvements over time, some may experience lingering symptoms ranging from weeks to months. Studies have shown that people have continued to report long COVID for as long as three years. But what about prevention? The best way to protect yourself against long-term COVID is to avoid getting COVID-19 in the first place. So long COVID has no definitive cure and the best way people can prevent long COVID is to prevent having COVID-19. And we know all the ways to prevent infection when the, the virus is circulating, then to take those non-pharmaceutical measures like limiting and distancing, uh, limiting contact, wearing masks, um, avoiding indoor crowded spaces, and of course, getting the COVID-19 vaccine. Studies have shown that people who had been vaccinated were le much less likely to develop long COVID. And remember, if you're experiencing ongoing symptoms after COVID-19, don't hesitate to seek help from your healthcare provider. They can help you manage your symptoms and determine the best course of action. That's all for today. Stay informed, stay safe, and take care of yourselves. Until next time, goodbye.